so with that, uh, let me just uh, um, do this question. So, um, so let me go to perplexity, and we are asking these three questions of our generative AI. See how it answers and critic its responses. And I remember it answering this question well in the past. So we'll try it again. Um, it, these figures, there's an accessible text attached to it, so it'll get a description of the figure that it uh, can answer from. Let's see, many of the topics discussed, etc., etc. Um, figure A shows. Um, and then I encourage you to give your answer in graph form. Uh, let me just... Uh, I'm starting... Um, by the way, I um, yeah, I've seen people use GeoGebra. You will see that I myself won't use it, mainly on the basis that GeoGebra is not what's called a free and open source. Um, I mean, it's a free to use, but it's got license terms that I can't quite abide by. So you won't see me using GeoGebra myself. Um, I, I I can use a Sage Math. Um, um, so yeah, all right. We'll ask and let's see. What is the frequency of the period? Uh, uh, I'll just skip because um, it's not a sine wave. <laughs> so um, the, the getting the answer, it's pretty simple. You simply add these two together, you know. So up until uh, time three, um, it's zero. And then you add a two to two to get four. And then, you know, you kind of match up where things are sh shifting. So let's see. For example, principal speed uh, is the sum of the responses. Yeah, uh, it's uh, quite common, although not universal. It, it's perpetual principle it goes with whenever you have a linear response. So if you have non-linear response, it won't work. But so many things we look at to have linear response. Okay, in the okay, so we had the y values. Let's see if we did it correctly. So zero to three, it's a zero. From three to five. It's four, okay, good. Five to seven, okay, it's a three plus two. It should be five, okay, good. Seven to eight, uh, you are subtracting one from three, so it should be two. Yep, okay, eight to nine, um, it's minus three, good. Nine to infinity is zero again. Well, yeah, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> now, don't copy and paste to this. Uh, you know, make sure you understand the rational and draw the figure out because uh, there are kind of elements of learning that's a visual, that, um, you know, word description, it, it, it gets some way there, but there's a kind of visual um, a way of making sense of things that's separate from um, the word description, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, did it rise to 3, 4, rise again to 5, 5, um, drop to 7, 2, yeah, and drop again to nice uh, Yeah, I think that's correct. Now, someone might draw this wrong with the uh, straight lines instead of, uh, uh, you know, step functions, but yeah, that, that's a good answer. <laughs> I think that's actually even better than the last answer I remember seeing it give last semester. So, uh, pillow video illustrate. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna leave this B. Uh, it might give some context, and then this will be A, and then B. Um, yeah, it probably has enough discretion of Chlad. Oh, by the way, I have Chlad in the in lab now. Um, I can show that to people, uh, I guess uh, maybe next week's lab, because um, uh, I I got these plates uh, last year and uh, I have them. Um, if people want to see it demonstrated, I can show the demo uh, in class now, not just the videos. You can do different things. Because, you know, the one downside of video is that you can't change anything that's in there. So. So, all right, git you know, operation, what features stand out? Technique, uh, oh, it's a German scientist. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, I, I thought it was, I don't know, Indian name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> place to visualize effects, uh, yeah. Oh, it's, well, it's two dimensional standing wave patterns, right? Comparison, is it not actually, why is it not answering the question? Um, Operation. 
Okay, I guess it did answer, all right. Um, compare and contrast 2D, okay, okay. It's breaking it down weird way. Um, you have seen, okay. In 1D, nodes are single points. Um, uh, I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, if uh, your standing waves are a sine wave of a single frequency. And the maximum displacement of the antennas, also, of course, as specified, yeah, okay. Two dimensional uh, the nodes are lines. Yeah, you have nodal lines. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hurrier minimum and the sand accumulate. Yeah, depend on the shape of the plate. And the... Yeah, so in a square plate, you get a lot of interesting patterns. In a circular plate, you can get some of the more boring patterns, but also interesting patterns. Uh, don't remember if I have a, a circular plate. If we do, that might be a good thing to show. Um, uh, uh, something for next week. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of the boundary condition? Yeah, it's at the edge of the plane. You know, I always thought this is uh, complicated. Let me see what um, ChatGPT says, and then we'll go from there. The boundary condition is that the plate is it's not fixed at the edges. Um, you can clearly see that in some of the images where um, center doesn't accumulate along the edges of the plate. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just a complete uh, fabrication or, you know, it's uh, let me see what the resource for is. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, let's see, boundary. Uh -uh. So it's uh, getting um, uh, answer from a completely different scenario. In this paper, they must have set manual boundary condition to set the edges to be actually fixed. The Tladini plate, the way it's usually set up, the demos I've always seen, it's not set up that way. Like when you look at this one, uh, let me see if I can, like here. So edges are, so edges, are, are kind of freestanding. Um, so you can here you can see this uh, kind of look more like antinodes. And the nodal lines might end there, but um, like edges are not nodes. And I think the reason the, uh, and this also explains some of the weird stunt responses I've seen in the past, <laughs> people who are cheating. <laughs> um, so what it's saying here, it's all wrong. And it's wrong because it's uh, signing a paper that's describing a completely different scenario than the scenario that's here. And because, you know, it's a large language model, it can't actually watch the video and it can't actually reason through logical consequences. So it doesn't know that uh, the conditions that are set here is completely different from what we have in the question. So anyways, uh, so wrong. <laughs> the, it's half wrong is wrong for <laughs> the GPT. So, um, so. Um, and I will just, uh, in the model answer, you will see me say it's uh, kind of complicated, but uh, what's closer is uh, to anti-nodes than nodes. Uh, but then some of the nodal lines do end at the edge. So I don't want to just say it's always anti node No, because it's 2D, it's a little complicated. All right, let's uh, ask the sonic boom question. And, uh, let's see. Uh, and again, you can't watch the videos, but I'll just leave it here in case that's somehow useful. Oh, uh, I gotta change how this ends. Um, okay, describe what Sonic Boom is. Let's see. They'll probably answer well. Seems like kind of question GPT does well on. Loud impulse and noise. This is an object generates pressure wave that combine. Yeah, as it exceeds the speed of sound. Um, the generous point continues sonic along the flight path, the enormous room. Uh, is a type of the most. Um, maybe. Um, you know, I thought shock wave uh, was the same thing as the sonic boom. Um, so, you know, it's the sound wave uh, in sonic boom itself travels at the same sound, same speed as the speed of sound. 
uh, that itself doesn't travel faster. Let me look at the reference to see um, shockwave is a type of uh, yeah, I guess there must be um, so it's a matter of what do you mean by propagating disturbance? If by propagating disturbance you mean the sound wave, then this is a self-contradictory statement. But if by propagating disturbance they mean the object that's causing that disturbance, uh, you know, displacement of molecules, then sure, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is more of an engineering question then. So I think in my model answer, I probably uh, make a shockwave like a synonym of sonic boom. I'm not 100% sure if that's uh, actually correct. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it's not. Uh, let me see if your textbook defines the shockwave. Uh, shockwave. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure um, the definition I've been using is consistent with the definition that um, your textbook uses. Uh, you know, shockwave, wave front, as in wave front of the sound wave. So shockwave is still describing sound wave. And um, I guess maybe one way to reconcile what your textbook says with what uh, Wikipedia says is you can imagine looking at the like a uh, this is spot on the ground. Uh, sorry, that's so weird to look at. Um, okay, so you can imagine someone who's a so the spot on the ground that this uh, uh, shock wave, the wave front touches, that point will actually move faster than speed of sound. Because the, for the same reason, the airplane is moving faster than speed of sound, and it's this conical shape is following the airplane. So you could say that point where the disturbance occurs, that point itself is moving faster than speed of sound. Um, but it, that's a different thing to say than the, the sound wave itself travels faster than sound. I, I much prefer textbook's description, this Wikipedia thing. Um, if I was still in the Wikipedia editing mindset, I would uh, kind of try to rephrase it. I think this is, uh, at best, a confusing way to phrase it. Uh, and uh, for anyone else who's giving me that answer, now I know where that answer comes from. Because I've seen that answer in student answers a few times, and I always thought, uh, that's a weird way to say it. That's not at all right, especially if you, by propagating disturbance, you mean the sound waves. Um, so, anyway, so let me keep reading. Uh, character discontent changed, but various events, external sure. Uh, produce, yeah, yeah, and so if it's a, uh, like explosions and lightning, okay, they can produce shock wave in the sense of that wave front of that um, sonic boom thing, but it that wave front won't be moving faster than speed of sound. So I think this paragraph, if I had to give it a grade, it, 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 it's it's not correct. It, it, it's an F. <laughs> I don't know, something else. <laughs> I don't give letter grades for paragraphs. Um, yeah, but this is the important part. Um, example, sonic bullet. Yeah, uh, crack of a uh, supersonic bullet or crack of a whip. It does that too. Uh, at the end, it's moving pretty fast. Uh, oh, I don't think I've... Heard of that? I mean, I don't doubt it. I can imagine that volcanic eruption causing shockwave. Sure. Uh, this is gonna be really weird kind of shockwave. Uh, shockwave like uh, uh, not the you know sound wave in air, but in more like you know <laughs> sound wave in space. Which, but sure, why not? A collision between galaxies. Uh, it's a uh, an. In uh, interest phenomena. So I guess uh, it's uh, rare for stars or planets to collide, but it's quite common for galaxies to collide. It's something that we do cover in astronomy. Uh, so in summary, so, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. So this, I'm not sure how. Um, unless you explain what you mean by collisions between galaxies, I'm just gonna chalk that up to someone trying to pad their answer. So uh, this answer, I, I don't know, not as good as the answer to number one. So, uh, but 
But one thing I do like about Purple Exidy is that it's, uh, it gives the references. So when it has a statement like this that I would uh, question, that I wouldn't immediately agree with, I can at least follow the link and see, oh, it's coming from Wikipedia. And um, <laughs> this might need to change, but uh, I'll leave that up to people um, uh, editing Wikipedia. I'll just, uh, uh, for the purpose of this class, we'll stick with our classes definition, which comes from the textbook definition, which is how I also always understood the term. So that's what we'll stick with for the purpose of this class. So that's uh, it for this conceptual questions. Um, let me know of any questions. Hopefully this is uh, more useful than just, uh, you know, being entertaining for me.